ambacho kimetoke wa ni Kongola Chake Sunny Music ni msanii wa kike ambaye anafanya vizuri sana. Ni kibao ambacho kuna views zaidi ya milioni moja na ni msanii ambaye anatokea Rwanda, amefanya vizuri na maamua kufunga safari kuja mpaka Kenya kwa ajili ya Kenya pia kumfahamu the most beautiful artist from Rwanda right now I know na mzungumzia Sunny Music. Sasa poa sana mambo. Ndio. Salamu. Asante. Au vipi? Poa sana. Na kuona mwanzo unapendeza sana nika kuvisha. Ah, <laughs> mimi ujivalisha. <laughs> Naam. Uh, sija sijawahi kuenda kwa duka uh, kwa sababu mimi nina manguo mingi sana yeah. so na huwa si, sina matamasha mengi ya kwenda so huwa nachukua nguo zangu zingine viato na vaa yeah kabisa sasa tukizungumzia wewe nakumbuka kwamba mziki kabisa unaofanya mara kwanza ni 2015 si ndio nini nilikufanya kwamba ukaingia katika mziki na ukaamua kidogo kuchukua tuseme kuchange vi career kidogo sasa kutoka kwa <laughs> modeling kuja kwenye muziki. Um nilikuwa modeling nikakuja nikafanya muziki 2015. Na um, sasa siku hiyo bado nilikuwa hapa Kenya. Naam. So kwenda Rwanda kuja alafu tena kazi. Uh, nikienda saa zingine nakuta nimebanwa. Unajua tena pesa uh, kutafuta pesa ya muziki nilikuta ni gharama kubwa. Naam. So kuna vitu mingi nililearn na nikaenda kufika Asia nikajaribu ku, kuendelea na muziki ah, lakini kakataa nikuta kuna ma sheria yao wenyewe huwezi <coughs> so nilipo ka hapo 2 years nilikuwa yani nasikia vibaya nikasema nimespend hela nyingi kwa muziki na saa hizi nimekaa hiyo pesa yote hela hata ningefanya biashara hela hata ningenunua gari ama kitu kingine so nikasema hiyo pesa ni mingi na siwezi kata So nikasema nitaendelea no matter how. Naam. So after two years ndio nimerudi katoa ngoma ya kwanza hiyo katika. Naam. Uh, nikatoa stop pray. Naam. Uh, nikitoa stop pray ndio nilifanya interview moja ana ikaenda vibe. <laughs> so ni Mungu tu. Wezi yani unaweza shindwa mtu anatoaga na nini nyimbo wala nini. So nilianza nikaanza kukuwa public figure kutoka kwenye media. So Naam. watu wanasema Slay Queen sijui nani. Eh nikasema mbona hivyo? Nikasema hapana inabidi nitafute collaboration kutoka Rwanda. Uh, nitafute mtu ambaye wanajua vizuri nikifanya nyimbo naye watajua ah she's a musician. So ndio nikamtafuta Bruce Melody ndio tumefanya hii Kongola. So kila mtu akajua musician na ika Penwa sana. I think it's the hittest song for Kabisa. this year. Mm. Tukizungumzia Kongola kuna maisho ambayo yametokea hapo kwenye Kongola nataka uweke wazi. Kwanza nilikuwa nasikia same friend nilikuwa nazungumza unasema kwamba Kongola kabla uiachio video. Ndio. Karibu ulikuwa umekaribu mpigane na mume wako na karibu akufunga. Mbona <laughs> ilikuwa inatokea swala kama hilo? Uh, kwa sababu mume um, wangu ni mtu wa nje, alafu kuna venye anajua. Mm. Alafu pia amefanya kazi na Afrika so he knows game zao biashara amefanya najua na zenye niliposema nime nilifika huko Rwanda kachukua hotel nikakaa hapo kahaya gari kila kitu naona so video ika take like a week ku shoot so video in take ilichukua pesa mingi sana ilizidi budget so wimbo na uh, kila kitu um, in, kila kitu venye nilikaa hapo yeah. juu ya hiyo wimbo yeah. we spend 30000 yeah. dollar yeah ni kama 1300 yeah like when we count the money even i think it it's actually even more yeah. so <coughs> nyimbo haikutoka nikaambia huyo Bruce Melody i need a song so wao ndio wanajua venye nililipa nyimbo nilinunua waandishi wawili mwingine watata nakuja mimi niko hapo tulikuwa wengi so yani mnanunua mapombe hapo wanakunywa ndio wanaweza kufanya kazi kila yeah. siku wanakuja hapana leo hivi hapana tuna change so nyimbo ili take yani muda ikaisha lakini Naam. for a week something Naam. so tukaanza kushuti video Kabisa. video nayo kila kitu wamekodisha haishi hiyo mijengo tulijenga kila kitu vikaisha vijakauka so wengine wanataka kamera zao hizi na hizi so huyo director akasema sasa siezi lipa hizi vitu tena so ikabidi kila siku nalipa uh, ma dancers halafu ninalipia mata kamera tena kila kitu Nam. after that time everything was on my head Nam. so hiyo ikaisha lakini video nayo 
benyilitoka na nyimbo so huyo jamaa akaiba so nikiwaambia tutoe nyimbo hawataki na mpango ilikuwa tufanye nyimbo na itoke next week hivyo yeah. so hawakufanya hivyo nyimbo iliibiwa so uh, director na huyo mtu there was a friend kwa mpango anasikia huyo msanii alikuwa amehanguka <laughs> amesahaulika kabisa yeah. so wimbo ikatoka na kapenda so alikuwa amesema sijui ameibiwa account ya YouTube wengi baadaye ndio nikuja kujua kumbe account akauzia yeah. uh, group nyingine kina hao wa kina hao producer yeah. ndio wali, walikuwa wamenunua account yake yeah. So kwa hivyo akaweka nyimbo yangu ndio aanze kupata sasa subscribers nini followers uh, juu hiyo siku venye nilimwambia ninatoa nyimbo Monday So wao tayari walikuwa wameweka nyimbo wameuza kila mahali wameweka iTunes juu wapi So video pia siku ya kutoka wakaniambia wanatoa video ikatoka Naam Tuma email tunakutumia video hiyo hakuna So ikabidi mimi ni ngoje nikamwambia video sijapata. Mwingine anasema hujatumiwa ngoja kumbe video iliwekwa wapi kwa account yake kitambo. Naam. After two and a half hours ndio nikakuja kuona mm, video iko YouTube. So naona watu wameanza kupost mitandao na shindwa. Naam. So nikamwambia unanitumia video ama nikatumiwa linki ya video kutoka YouTube. Nikasema anyway nimeona kaka sasa hivi hawajai nitumia hiyo nyimbo. So Kenya nilifanya ni download video uh, nika nika upload na within one day ilikuwa na view mob sana. Yeah. So in a week uh, yangu ilikuwa 100 something na yake ilikuwa bado 40 something. Yeah. So yangu kapanda kabisa. Yeah. So baadaye nikamreport kwenye YouTube alikuwa ameandika Bruce Melody fit sana kamwambia kwani ni nani star yeah. um Kenya nilifanya sasa nilimreport YouTube YouTube akatolewa but audio huwa bado iTunes so ni kazi mingi unaandika nini bado sijamaliza but hivyo ndio ilienda na I say na kabisa ndio maana nikipita katika mtandao wetu ndio na uh, ngoma iko licensed, licensed on behalf of Bruce Melody sio kupitia yeah. ngoma vasio lakini tukiangalia hapo kwa tokongole inafanya vizuri sana yeah. property Ukafanya ngoma ya ilikuwa the most controversial song ambayo Shefa. Mimi mara kwanza naona kabisa niliona katika meme fulani. Nani hebu nimfahamu na tukafahamu kabisa. Mm. Property mwanzo ni shoot Thailand. Ah uh, yeah, mimi upenda shoot video Thailand Naam. sababu na was modeling na Joanna na watu wengi kule uh, studios. Naam. Na ni rahisi sana kupata vitu za kuvaa uh, kila kitu yani it's very easy colors zenye unataka. Na ukifanya video yako unaiona on time. Yeah. So nilienda hapo nikashoot hiyo video but I was so sick. <laughs> I will never What forget. <laughs> yeah. So thank God my husband was there. He yeah. took care of everything. Na video ikafanywa within a week uh, seven to eight days yeah. nilikuwa nimerudi. So yeah. nikatumiwa video after one week. Yeah nika upload no. sasa juu watu wengi hawajai ona video kama hizo no. and i'm here to be a different no. unaona no. so walikuwa wanaongea mambo mengi no. alafu mimi mwenyewe niliimba nili property no. nilikuwa namaanisha bibi ya mtu yani no. kitu ya something you own no. unaona kama tiaska anavomiliki ya mashini <laughs> eh ni no. yake hiyo no. ni property no. yako unaona <laughs> kitu yako umeown so no. my fans walienda waka change vitu zingine juu no. nimesema your wife no. it uh, your property juu i said this is your property is not my property like yeah. uh mimi nikiwa bibi yako siwezi fanya kitu yoyote nahitaji mpaka hata mtu mwingine lazima tuulize bwana akisema sawa yeah. tuende unaona so Kamisa. bibi hanaga nguvu so ndio maana nilisema mimi yeah. ni property yako yeah. unaona Kamisa. so uku, u, yani you have me yeah. I'm yours, yes, yes. So watu walienda wakachange mambo mengine. So nyimbo ikasambaa hivyo. So unajua waganda nao. Eh yeah. waganda wamenionea this year. Ndio <laughs> hivyo kabisa kwenye game mambo yanakuwa hivyo kabisa. Nazungu niko na Sani, eh, ni msanii wake kutoka Rwanda ambaye anawakilisha na anakufahamisha mengi sana Bolko Farm kumoso. Sio? Sani, mm. kazi zako nyingi sasa hivi unaona unazifanya na Kashkin. Umeona Kashkin tu kuma producer wengi ambao wanafanya kazi nzuri hapa Kenya. Ah <laughs> uh, Kashkin ndiye ninamjua. Ah uh, wengine siwajui na <laughs> mbona <Mbola> cheka 
Sorry kumaanisha. Naam. Uh, mara kwanza nilio taka kufanya muziki wangu Kenya no. jumii niko Kenya nikasema no. anyway sitakuwa nikienda Rwanda kufanya recording ifanye hivi at least niende huko interview no. ama mambo mengine so nikataka studio karibu so nikapata studio ya ya cash kwenye anafanya huko compact com, com, record no. <laughs> alafu nikaona ni karibu na kwangu so no. nikaanza ku record na no. kabisa na anafanya beat poa sasa ni mnafanya kazi nzuri sana <laughs> yeah. Alikuwa na zungumza na hapo kama media mchacha akasema kwamba mlikuwa mnaanza kujitengeneza brand believe once mtu kanikona kabisa toka unavoanza mpaka sasa sehemu umefika ni sehemu kubwa zaidi the size it's like uh, eight, eight to nine months I say kabisa yeah. eh, mtoto amekuwa huyo au vipi sasa hivi umefanya kazi mpya na msanii toka Tanzania anazungumzia Aslay <laughs> kwa Tanzania tu kwa Afrika Mashariki umeona Aslay peke yake mbona ah uh, unajua muziki ni kazi kubwa sana Naam na um, inahitaji time halafu pia pesa nini so nikienda Tanzania asle nili nilimtafuta kwanza hata nilikuwa natafuta nifanye na nani kazi um, yeye ndiye alipatikana time hiyo kila mtu alikuwa anakuja huyu yako na huku mwingine kweli unaona wako busy so asle akapatikana atuva ndio alinisaidia kupatana na Asle. Tuka waka contact alafu ndio tukaenda huko. Tanzania nikafanya tour hapo na tukafanya ngoma. Naam. So ngoma ilikuwa ilienda vizuri. Nilipenda by the way it was really nice juu hakuchukua time yangu. Alifanya kazi vizuri ngoma ikaisha na tukarudi. Tulikuja tumeshuti video au imeisha tukapewa kila kitu after one week hivi. Naam. Mm. anaitisha kama pesa ngapi hivi kufanya collab naye? <laughs> Mimi si kumlipa asle. Hukumlipa. Ah. Alikubali kazi ambayo unaifanya na. Ya, yeah, nilimuomba, tuliongea, atufa kanisaidia so nikaenda. Mimi nisimamia kila kitu. Ni sasa kazi nzuri video safi yeah. sana inakubalika sana, si? Asante. Kufanya kazi na Slay sasa hivi imeongeza vipi katika kariya yako? Ah, nimependa sana kwa sababu watu wanaona kwamba mimi nimekuja. Uh, so many people has been say we we love you. Now since you've been here this is another change in Rwanda in the music industry. So ni kumaanisha kwamba mimi nikikuwa hapo ngoma zangu tofauti video different look unaona ni kitu kingine kimeongezeka hapo. Alafu kufanya ngoma nje unajua wasanii wa kwetu ni kitu ambaye hawa huwa hawafanyi. Uh, so maybe wao wanaogopa ku spend pesa sijui wala yeah. nini but mi, mimi nawaelewa tu kwa sababu kufanya kazi na msanii mwingine it's really headache <laughs> kabisa ukiangalia kibao kitakuwa kinafanya poa sana baada mm. ya waone na slay kipindi yeah. kinakuja ah uh, baada ya waone kuna kitu kingine inakuja um, nafikiria tena club ama mimi mwenyewe Naam but pia ngoma uh, size nitakuwa naimba Kiswahili. Naam. Kiswahili Kinyarwanda hivi kidogo na mix, unaona. So ni nitatoa nyimbo nyingine. Nikitoa nyimbo yangu peke yangu lazima ikuwe pia ngoma poa. Ya ku dance uh, na interest nje. <laughs> yeah. Thailand kama kawaida ama wapi? Ka, South uh, yeah, Tha Thailand. Thailand. Thailand, Thailand yeah. kuna sehemu mingi za ku shoot. Takuja twende sote kule. <laughs> <laughs> Karibu sana. Au <laughs> vipi <laughs> kabisa ni Sunny Music all the way from Rwanda na kwa hapa Kenya kwa ajili ya ku push ngoma yake mpya ambayo amefanya na msanii wa Tanzania mzungumzia Ashley Shaka. Sio? Yeah, Sunny Music eh? Ndio. Yeah. Kabla uweze ku perform kwa mara kwanza uweze ku launch kwa mara kwanza ngoma yako mpya, mm. mimi kwa geni wangu siwaache bodi kuna maswali nazita kali za wana. Uko tayari? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most handsome president in Africa? Mm. Hmm, that question is big. Kwa nini najua wangapi? Ah, why youngest ama? Ah, yote tu, bora tu ni rais ni president. Mm. I'm smart. Eh, and some ule mbona una ah, ni handsome sana. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bunione, nilikuwa naona president wa Kongo <laughs> lakini <laughs> size ametoka. Yeah. yeah he was nani. handsome, young. Yeah. Mm. Kabisa. <laughs> ka, ka president Kabila, Kabila. Joseph Kabila. Yeah. I, I say Kabisa. Yeah, Amerika <laughs> wazi hapa sana music, eh. <laughs> Ushai kumchiti mpenzi wako? Never. Ujai kumchiti. Na siwezi. Yeah. Mm. Wanasema pombe inalewesha ni ukweli? Of course, kwani ni maji. Kwa hivyo sasa nataka nikuulize hili swali. Ushai kuelewa, ushai lewa. Lewa, kulewa. 
Eh, hey, ya, yeah, nimeelewa. Kitu kipi kicha kiginga sana ulikifanya wakati umeelewa? Ambacho utaesa, ulifanya kitu cha ujinga kabisa ambacho utaesa. Uh, mimi siku nimeelewa. <laughs> nimeelewa siku ni na shoot video. <laughs> Ndoma ni sema jukua mgonjwa. <laughs> so, niliomba whisky ya subui. So, nikambia mze wangu, please, niweke whisky kwa chupa na kwa kakola. So, sijakula breakfast, sijafanya nini. Um, so, aliweka kukunya juko kakola ilikuwa baridi, siski, it was jonoka. Halafu nikamwambia ah hii ni Coca-Cola wewe ongeza wacha ni kwapi. <laughs> Alienda akaweka kuangalia chupa baadaye nikuta chupa yake. <laughs> Almost chupa mzima. Yeah. So hiyo siku nililewa no. nilishoot video ni kilala no. singeweza kusimama. <laughs> no. So yani shoot ya kwanza ilikuwa ili poa nikianza kulewa. Ya pili hapo kwenye black suit. Yani ni saa zile niliambiwa studio imefungwa kesho hauwezi pata studio ni dakika mela zipatikane wa nikaamka akili <laughs> naambiwa niliosho nilikuwa naenda cho kila saa kutafika hey. so <laughs> mpaka wa leo no. sigusi pombe yani nikikunywa pombe ni ile kashoti kuchangamuka tu hey. mambo ya pombe nimeacha <laughs> sasa ni music ameweka wazi kwa mara ya kwanza kupitia wai mashariki kupitia runinga y254 sio mm. facebook twitter instagram wanakupata wapi kamera nambari moja hiyo uh, Instagram ni S U N N Y Rwanda 12. Sunny Rwanda 12. Kabisa. Na mimi natumia Instagram, sina Facebook wala chochote. I say kabisa. <laughs> na YouTube Sunny Music ama unaandika Sunny Rwanda so yeah. you get all my stuff there. Kabisa. Yeah. Amekuwa ni Sunny Rwanda. Tunakuwa tunakuacha na kibao pia tukiondoka ndani ya mjengo. Tieska. Kabla tuondoke, tati yetu tutakuwa wapi tutakuwa na faa nini? Tati yetu ndako pale Attic Lounge. Wanyo wajesabio mkuje tuwesabie. Eh? Capture, recapture method. Yeah. <laughs> so, tupata ne article on Friday. Kabisa. Mm, Tukua na wakilisha pale. Siyo? Uh -huh. Alafu, kila jumatano na kila, kila jumatano na kila alamisi, ya? Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, DJ Kira. Mm -hmm. Ana wakilisha pale jukana, yu ni jukana kama Colinas, Colinas Lodge, eh? uh -huh. Pale Kikuyo, eh? Ana mm -hmm. post office. Bia Kikuyo, bia post office, eh? Mm -hmm. Utakua na ladies night na cocktail night, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, itakuwa ni poa sana mademo utakuwa mejia pa. Nisawa tutuwa kiume ya kisha kuma mnaenda tunayena pale, tunasababisha. Jumatano, ye? Right. Uh, DJ Kira takuwa pale Las Colinas Lodge. Uh, Kikuyo, bia hindi post office pale. Utakua na kisha kuma. Utakua na ladies night na cocktail night. Itakuwa kubwa sana, itakuwa na wakilisha sana. Na kisha pia unakuja pale Arctic Lodge. Ijuma pia tunakisha na DJ TSK. Mini Tekken Realbis, uh, DJ TSK amesababisha mziki mzuri. Na watu wamekua kwenye kamera hapa na muona Frank yuko na niya mjengo na muona... DJ Kutag pale naona DJ uh, Cash Kid the producer yuko ndani ya mjengo kabisa mm -hmm. alafu na muona Morris Ben the camera Sarah amekuepa amekisha kwamba niko poa sana na muona Rose yuko pale wote wawili kumekuwa na Eddie watu ni wengi sana ndani ya alafu na mzungu the big boss himself the director pale mwelekezo wa kipindi unamcheki Instagram at @ndavula amesababisha kipindi kimekuwa poa sana shukrani za dhati kwa wote ambao mmetazama na machia comment na hakisha kwamba pia unamfuatia Sunny Music katika mtandao kijamii na msupport cheki kibao cheki kipi ambacho umekifanya na Asle waone kwa na usiku mwema usiku mbele cha wawa ila kudra zake Maulana.